Hello, American Daily Life Society. We are kind of live in St. Louis right now. We just finished the board meeting. The board of directors just finished um, having, it was a many, many, many hour meeting. And um, we're coming live to you after that. Just know that this is pre-recorded and we will, um, you'll be able to replay this as many times as you would like to. Um, we welcome that and we welcome you to share it out as much as you'd like as well. My name is Rhonda Broven and I'm the director of Region 2 and I am the awards and honors chair. So I'm going to share with you tonight the slate of candidates that won the uh, Pyramid of Awards. So that would be the honorable mentions, the awards of merit, and the Stout Silver Medal. I will also share with you the Specialty Awards and the Lennington All-American Award. So that's what's on tap for the evening. I am going to start, however, with none of the above. So <laughs> I'm going to start with uh, the Club Recognition Program. So one thing that our um, membership chair uh, does is takes a look at clubs and those clubs that have 90 plus percent of their members that are American Daylily Society members, they get put into a hat and then they win a special prize. Now, I believe it was something like $500 or something like that. So this group um, was picked live during the board meeting and we get to announce it now and more information will be put out in the journal and in regional newsletters. So we just want to congratulate, ready for the drum roll, drum, 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 uh, Puget Sound Daylily Club for winning the club recognition program. So congratulations to our Region 8 friends at the Puget Sound Daylily Club. So congratulations, that's really, really fantastic. Uh, if you want your club recognized, you just need to increase your club participation at the national level. So we want everybody to encourage people to become members because we know how awesome it is to be a member. All right. Next up, I am going to start with the Pyramid of Awards, and I like to start at what I call the base of the Pyramid of Awards, and that's for our Honorable Mention Awards. To receive an Honorable Mention, you need to have received a certain number of votes, and they need to be in at least four regions. So, um, you need to have 15 votes. I just wanted to make sure I didn't misspeak. So 15 votes in at least four regions. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the highest vote getter and move my way down. This year we have 25 winners. And in the past we've only, because we've had so many, we've only just listed in this presentation like the top 10. But I feel I'm doing this presentation. I'm giving all 25 their due diligence and due time. So I'm going to go through and recognize them. Again, highest vote winner to, um, like, I don't want to say the lowest vote winner, but it's, you know, in comparison to the others, it would be a lower vote. So I'm going to start up at the top. So in first place, and I'm not going to say places from now on after that, is Tim Harrington's Halloween Green. So congratulations, Tim. Next up, Angel and Oz by Katie Sue Harrington. Mr. and Mrs. Bubs by Heidi Douglas. I Be Little by Scott Elliott. Gone with the Wine by Scott Elliott. Uh, Dr. Gerald Corbett by Pat Stamilly. Little Boss Man by Tim Harrington. A tribute to the uh, mayor, tribute to the mayor by Netherington. DeBerry Canary by Pat Stamilly. Pink Lemonade Party by Jeff Salter. Tipsy Butler by Sandy Holmes. Lily's Golden Curls by Diana Waldrop. Sherry Candy by Pat Stamilly. Sultry Girls by Judy Davison. Anam Kara by Waterman, Buddy's Gloria by Buddy Hall, Pinwheel Princess 
by Elizabeth Salter, A Groovy Kind of Love by Heidi Douglas, Blue Grass Horse Feathers by Sandy Holmes, Cosmic Blast by Jeff Salter, Lillian's Hot and Spicy by Fred Manning, Ruffled Vintage Burgundy by Krupian, Big Boy Butterfly by Guy Pierce, and lastly, Space Coast Scarlet Desire. I'm gonna say that again. Space Coast Scarlet Desire, a dual registration by Kinnebrew and Gossard. So congratulations to our honorable mentions. Uh, great job on the first step in earning the Pyramid of Awards. As we know, that's the first step on the way to the Stout Silver Medal. Now we're gonna move on to that next step in the middle of the pyramid, the Awards of Merit. To receive the Award of Merit, you have had to earn the honorable mentions, the ones that I just mentioned. You need to um, have votes in at least half of the regions. So we have 15 regions. So in order to be eligible, you would need to earn it in eight regions, which is very difficult to do. And no more than one third of the votes can be um, from a single region. So it's, it's a very convoluted math game that I play. And there are 12 winners. So the top 12 winners, when all of those things are considered, are the winners. So I'm going to start right up at the top and announce all 12. I'm going to start with the first award winner, first place in the AM Awards. So first up is Explosion in the Paint Factory by Rich Howard, Tim Harrington by Scott Elliott, Opa Klaus by Bill Waldrop, Boss Hogg by Heidi Douglas, Bluegrass Memories by Proust, Joan Jackson by David Kirchhoff, Stenciled Infusion by Guy Pierce, Jen Mellon by Oaks, Space Coast Chomp Chomp by Kinnebrew, Humongousaur by Jamie Gossard, Cameroon's Twister by John Benz, and Yankee Pinstripes by Rich Howard. A huge congratulations. That is such an incredible honor to receive an award of merit. So congratulations. Now I'm gonna tease you for just a minute, and I'm not gonna tell you the stout winner. I know you're all wanting to know that stout winner, but I'm gonna move, I'm gonna leave that for a couple of minutes, and I'm gonna to move to the specialty awards, because come on, y'all wanna know the stout. You're, that way you'll hang on a little while longer and you'll finish listening to me. So I'm gonna to go to the specialty awards, and then I'm gonna come back to that pyramid, top of the pyramid, and share the stout silver medal. So in specialty awards, this is purely based on highest number of votes that were received in any of the given categories. So congratulations, this is, it, the competition was stiff and it was really difficult, um, really close in most of the categories. So a huge congratulations to the winners in each of these categories. So first up, we have the Don Fisher Memorial Cup, and that is for mini daylilies. And our winner is Too Cute by Steve Williams. Next up, we have the Annie T. Giles Award, which is for small, uh, registered small daylilies. And our winner is Tim Harrington, The Flower by Scott Elliott. Extra Large Diameter for Extra Large Diameter Daylilies. That goes to Paul Owen for eminent domain. Next up, we have Harris Olson Spider Award for the best spider. <laughs> and that goes to Katie Sue Harrington for Midnight in Oz. Then we go to the Lambert Webster Award for uh, our UF category for the best UF. And that goes to Sebastian on Steroids by Scott Elliott. Next up is our Ida Munson Award, and that's for the best double. And Raspberry Ripple Cupcake by Tim Harrington won that. Um, 
Next up is Eugene S. Foster Award. That's for the best late blooming flower. And that goes to Ghost Ranger by Scott Elliott. Early season bloom award is up next. And that, go that goes to Darth Siduous by Scott Elliott. Our R.W. Munson Award for the best patterned daylily goes to Yankee Pinstripes by Rich Howard. And then finally, we have the Don C. Stevens Award for the best eyed daylily. And that goes to Hotlanta by Bill Waldrop. So congratulations to all of you on those incredible awards that you have earned in those specialty areas. All right, I know y'all wanna know. So I'm coming back to it. Gonna go to the Stout Silver Medal. As you know, that all of the winners of the Awards of Merit are then put on a ballot and garden judges can only vote for the best one that in their opinion and the highest votes get it. And so this is a super hard award to get. Um, and I think it's time to announce it. Or I could let you wait a little longer. All right, I'll let you know now. So the winner of this year's Stout Silver Medal goes to Mayor of Munchkinland by Tim Harrington. So congratulations, Tim, on an incredible flower and an incredible honor to have won the Stout Silver Medal. I could be done, but alas, there is one more award and I waited until the end to uh, give this award or to share the winner of this award. And that is going to be the Lennington All-American Award. And what the Lennington All-American Award is, it's for a daylily which is no longer eligible for the pyramid of awards. And it is in what we, we um, deem as a well, uh, it's an All-American Award because it goes across a wide geographic area. There we go. I was trying to find the words and it just left me because I was so excited about the award. So this is something that grows well all over in all of our regions and it just didn't happen to win the Stout Medal. Now to get on the ballot, my committee, the Awards and Honors Committee, puts together a list of candidates, of 12 candidates, for the board of directors to vote on here at the fall board meeting. So before today, I didn't know who the winner was going to be. So um, today we voted as board of directors and we have a winner for the Lennington All-American Award. So this year, our Lennington All-American Award goes to, you ready? Dances with Giraffes by Margot Reed. So congratulations, Margot, on a fantastic plant that is very worthy of such a great distinct honor. So there you have it. You have all of the awards that are going to be announced. Now there will be more awards, of course, that will be announced at the uh, National Convention in Asheville. All of the winners that were just awarded or that were just announced will be awarded and receive their awards at the Asheville Convention. And um, there will be more as well. Uh, those are secret, top secret, and nobody knows but me, and I'm gonna keep that top secret. And so we will um, be able to surprise our winners there. Now, as far as the awards that were just mentioned and just announced, please give me a little bit of grace. I will have all of these awards or award winners listed on our website very, very soon. I am traveling, so it's gonna take a bit of time, but we will be sure to get all of the Pyramid, Award, Pyramid Awards, all of the specialty awards, and the Lennington All-American Award posted on the website as soon as we can. So like I said, I'm a volunteer. Don't hound me, but I do promise to get that as soon as I possibly can get it uploaded. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you all to all of the garden judges that voted and made this award season possible. So thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you all in Asheville. Take care, everyone. Have a great night.